Two Real TV. We got comedian Desi. Is that what you go by? Mm-hmm. Yep. Comedian Desi. Yep. Uh, very popular on in Instagram. Uh, are you are you Jesse's cousin or Bro. just a people? Bro. Bro. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's my first introduction to you. Okay. Right, is, cool. is open when y'all open up here. Mm-hmm. So and I've been following you since then, man. Yes, sir. Very impressed with with, with your, your content, uh, your comedy. Thank you. A uh, few things I just want to discuss with you because I, I know you're busy. Uh, how did you get started in comedy? Um, got started uh, after my my basketball career. You know, took a took a dive. So, okay, it was so after middle school, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a little early. But no, man, I had I was on I was on a date and uh, upstairs and at the uh, the restaurant we was in is a comedy club. The comedy factory used to be at this place called Burks, and upstairs was the comedy club, and downstairs was the uh, like the restaurant. And I heard like people upstairs like laughing. And I was like, I asked the waiter, was everybody laughing at? It was like, it's an open mic upstairs. And then you know, they had us having a contest. So, you know, I wrote my stuff out, wrote like a little five minute set, and went up there and I sold my first joke. And everybody laughed. I was like, this is what I'm going to do for the rest of my life. So, so yeah. writing jokes came naturally? Yeah, yeah, it, it, more so just the stories itself. Because it don't, like, for some comedians, it's like just all the top of the head. They just be like, I don't write. I write. So, you know, a lot of my stories are just real life experiences just broken down into into a set. It's, it's real compact and, and put together, but it's just mainly just true stories, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So, you, you're from Baltimore, right? Mm-hmm. Born and raised. How, how's Baltimore. the Baltimore comedy scene? Baltimore comedy scene is, is growing. Like, we got a lot of talented people in Baltimore, man. You're about to see them soon, man. A lot of people I'm close to, you know, it's just a whole different era of comedy coming out of Baltimore because we see a lot, you know, that a lot of cities don't. Um, we going through a lot that a lot of people aren't going through, so... We have to find some way to laugh. So that that whole breed, that whole you know wave of comedy from Baltimore, they they out here. So yeah, you <laughs> yeah, that's how we. Baltimore was <laughs> they was recently voted that having the ugliest accent. How you feeling? Yeah, about I saw that. that. I saw it's, it's a lot of it's a lot of places that got ugly accents, man. It's just y'all pick they pick the worst got video it. of you to see the avenue on the avenue and the dude. The, I was like, y'all picked the worst one out of all it. But everywhere I go, people say they love our accent. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's, it's very different, which I think is cool because mm-hmm. I guess being from Texas mm-hmm. and, and Texas, you know, you get a lot of people from Cali yeah. and New York, so you hear so much of that. Mm-hmm. So hearing like you talk and Jess talk and a few other people, yeah. it's like, man, that's different. People it's always be like, Are you you got to be. It's mm-hmm. like, it's no other place that sounds like Baltimore. So that's the first yeah. thing people always say is like, when they see me, they say, You may be from Philly. Cause of your beard, like you like you from Philly, but when they hear me talk, like no, nah, that's Baltimore. If, so, if you yeah. move down here with the accent, you get all the pussy. Yeah. I ain't even like that. <laughs> no, <laughs> man, no. But yeah, it's, it's oh different, God, man. It's, it's 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 a weird sound how we just make our words out. But yeah, that's that's just how we talk, man. I don't know how, where we get it from, or how it started, but yeah. Who are, who are some of your comedy influences? Oh man, mine's are uh, my three like people is is, is Richard, Eddie, and and Bill Cosby. Like, Mine is Richard, Eddie, and, and Dave Chappelle. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I, I started in the Dave Chappelle era, like when he was on top, and the Chappelle show was out, and Killing Me so- was it? Not Killing Me so- uh, uh the one, the Showtime special. Yeah, uh, um, I forgot the name of it, but I watch it all the time. Yeah, man. He, that's what I came up. That's when I started doing stand up. You know what I'm saying? So I always had a love for it, but I always felt like you had to be special or sign up for some some type of thing to be a comedian. And then when I realized, you just get up and do it. And if it's your passion, you're good at it, you stay consistent with it, you got it. You know what I'm saying? That's when, you know, everything lines up. Bill Cosby don't get a lot of uh, acknowledgement for his comedy. He's from the newer nah, generation. Because most know, of them man. know him from the TV shows. Nah, they but just... one of my favorite uh, Bill Cosby bits is the, is the, is the, is the, uh, the, the bigger, the bigger, uh, the, 
Well, he's talking about bigotry. And he's, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He got yeah. the little. Oh he, my he God, ain't really doing. He's just talking, really. But he's yeah, acting man, all like, different. Like, it's just effortless how he does his stand up, man. And people, he don't get enough credit. He don't get enough love. Of course, you know, for his yeah. situation. But I got to see him live right before all that happened. And I was like, totally like, damn, I got to step my game up, man. Like, he just said, and did two hours just like going <laughs> in and every culture, every. You know what I'm saying? Every race, all ages was in there dying laughing, man. I was like, yo, he still got it at that age, and that's how I want to be. You know what I'm saying? He don't get enough respect as far as stand-up, man. I believe that that's... I grew up, like, my father had the, the records, like, the Bill Cosby records. You know what I'm saying? I remember listening to them, you know, my entire life, Richard and Eddie, too. But them three people, man, are my time. Yeah, I, I like his big with the, the Jesus Christ, the God damn it. Yeah, man. <laughs> it's, it's, so, it's, so many, it's so many people that, you know, you grow up watching, but it's like... You have to you know, when every comedian has that comedian that they look at that they kind of like mimic if anything. But I, it's like a difference between that's why I tell comedians, young comedians, it's like you got to practice people's cadence, not their actual material and the way they say stuff. It's their cadence, and it's a, and you, when you don't if you don't understand that, you ain't gonna never get it. It's the cadence you have to study. You know what I'm saying? How they control the crowd. You know what I'm saying? But those three people, man, all, to this day I still laugh hard as hell at all these specials. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I watch a lot of comedy. Mm-hmm. Um, working working with Jess, uh, man, that's that's got to be. Oh yeah. And I, I guess for me, because I've been watching her over the years, mm-hmm. and you know, just watch. I, I remember when people was, you know, the Corey Holcomb thing, mm-hmm. and, you know, people were shitting on yeah, her yeah, yeah. And, and knocking her. Yeah. And then, like I said, when y'all came here, you opened up for I, being a comic myself. I don't know if it's hating. Mm-hmm. But I just don't be expecting people to be funny. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's so when natural. people are funny, yeah. then I'm, you know, I'm, I'm like, man, like I'm, I'm wild by yeah. this person. Yeah, man. And and that's what that's, man, we get around each other. That's all we do is talk about comedy. Like, and she's young in the game, so I make sure I give her her homework. Like, she have to watch some some the Chris Rock, you know what I'm saying, and the, and the Eddie Murphy's and all the, the old stuff, so that she can like be brought up to speed on where this came from. Because you ain't gonna get nowhere if you don't know where you came from. And appreciate the people that put us in position because ultimately that's what they did. Bro. Yeah. Like they all put us in position to be successful to do something that we love doing and get paid for it. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, her she, she's very strictly like when it's when it, when it comes to me and her, that's all we on top of is this comedy, trying to get better, trying to take our stories, add more meat to them. You know what I'm saying? Recording, writing, like she keeps me very productive, and I keep yeah. her the same way. So yeah, yeah, especially for women, it's it's, it's hard. Women, comics, yeah, man. You know, it is, man. With with us, like Kev's on top, mm-hmm. then it'd be those ones. But with women, mm-hmm. it's like it's always gonna be that one, yeah. and then you know everybody else they mm-hmm. overshadow everybody else. Yeah, yeah. So right now, I mean, you can't even really say Tiffany Haddish is because nah. she's not on the stage as, as much. much. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So right now, I feel like Jess is that one right now. That's my opinion. And that's yeah. not because I'm with her. I, it, it's because I'm with her and it's because her work ethic. You know what I'm yeah. saying? As far as her wanting to get better and showing and proving every night. That's why I feel like, in my opinion, she's the best female comedian right now. Not because, you know, we get money out here together, but I watch her day in and day out try her best to get better and she's proving everybody like that she can kill them on stage an hour every night. You know what I'm saying? Like, she's doing that every night. And if we, if we got new material, she go up there and smash. And she she would try new stuff. She ain't afraid to do it and be killing it every night. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, she puts yeah, they, in that They love her, yeah. Yeah, man. Uh, before we close, uh, the videos, man. Uh, man, your most recent videos, the, the the video game one? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You are so creative. Yeah, <laughs> and thank I, you, man. Thank I, you, man. Look, I just told you, man, I watch people videos because I be trying to make my own videos. Mm-hmm. And how do you do it? Um, it's just I always tell comedians you gotta find your writing space find out when your brain is at the most loopiest and and, and what I mean by that is as your most creative when you like sometimes before I go to bed that's when all the stuff because I'm tired and you're in that little halfway sleep dream state that's when all these ideas come to my head I be tired as hell but I still roll over and just jot down in my notes all the different ideas that I have but it's just like, of course, like the stuff that I don't, I haven't put together on stage yet, as far as making it into material, that I make my sketches. You know, stuff that I feel like people would like to see, in like movie form instead of on stage. And then sometimes I do a skit and be like, damn, I can turn this back into material yeah. on stage, and I kind of flip it back. But it's really like finding your writing space, bro. Like once you find your writing space, when you at your most creative, and you feel like 
you know, you find your niche. It's the same thing as stand up. You gotta find out who you are on stage and you gotta find out who you are on, on social media. It could be two different people, but both entities work because the people that love you on Instagram are gonna come because they can't wait to see you. But then when they come to see you, it's like, damn, this nigga is dope on stage too. That's what damn. I get all the time. I like, just nigga funny on the gram and he funny on stage. People don't even know I just stand up first. But 2016 is when I was like, I'm gonna try this video thing out. I'm gonna try and put out a video because I got so many ideas. You know what I'm saying? And at first, it always is awkward when you first start because you recording. You know what I'm saying? People walking by your car, you like, <laughs> you just it's just mad weird. Now I just don't even. If I have an idea, give me thirty minutes by myself. I'm banging out a video. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I, I pay attention to the detail, like when you were doing the characters mm -hmm. and how they kind of like jumping in. Yeah, because like, I'm a gamer too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm a, <laughs> not a new gamer. I'm an old school gamer, bro. Like Nintendo, you think it in my set? You know what I'm saying? And that was one that people was paying like, attention to that. You yeah, know what yeah. How do people come in the game and you pick? When they just jump on the screen like all that stuff. I pay attention to all that, all them little details, yeah, man, that people appreciate. Had, I've, I've shared a couple of your videos on my Thank Facebook you, page. Uh, I think the first one was the the work from home because my wife she works uh -huh. from home. <laughs> yeah, uh, man. that one. Uh, uh, recently, I posted the um, the the when the the phone call goes when you think it's gonna go wrong. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You taking that chance, bro? <laughs> like people and if people will be scared to talk about their insecurities, man. Like. I don't care, bro. Like, this is how we all are, bro. Like, everybody's human. I'm not afraid to talk about them things that you think uh, aren't going to go your way, man. And that's one of the main things when dating and relationships. It's funny as hell now. When it happened, you be stressed out as hell. Like, damn, man. She ain't even say nothing. She ain't even answer. Yeah. You be like, you be scared as hell. You like, I'm ruining my chance. She think, she, think I'm a, she think I'm a pervert, yo. And then she responds. Like, I was like, oh, all right. Thank God. And most of the time, women are perverts yeah. just like we is. So, just, just, yeah. like, just like we if is. If not man. worse. You know what I'm saying? So, so yeah. uh uh, what what you got up and coming that you know people need to know about? Man, a lot, man. I'm in, I'm in the middle of working on a sitcom that I wrote. Um, very funny sitcom. I got a good cast of people around me, good filmographer, and it's like surrounding myself with a good team of people is is well everybody is that's, that's what's important when it comes to like film because you don't want your script to go out to be some shit because you didn't put the right people in place and put up the bread to get quality shit. That's what that's what you have to do eventually because. Your idea will just go to nothing if you don't have the right circle around you. So, you know, the sitcom I'm working on, of course, I'm still banging out, you know, tour dates, website. I don't know, I'm in the middle of writing, like, three movies at one time. You know what I'm saying? Like, like when I'm with Jess, like I said, we get busy. You know what I'm saying? And we have ideas. She's like, nigga, I can't write like that. I'm like, yo, just talk. I'll write. I know how I, took, I, know how I type fast. So, yeah. writing is, is just nothing to me. And my mom was a writer, so that's where I get it from. So... It's mainly just sitcoms, movies, and just plugging myself into these networks and trying to get there. And I am going to get there. So, just, man, yeah, I, so. I I I pray I see you at the top. Absolutely. Even if I'm just shaking your hand, crossing the paths with you again. And I'm gonna keep on watching your videos, and and I I'm, I'm glad I got to personally meet you, and, and I appreciate Definitely, you letting me do this interview, man. Appreciate Thank you, man. Thank you, bro. She like the background. She like got her. Damn. Yeah, that that man. Uh, the the video when you like uh, when you trying to get some. Yeah. 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 Oh man, that video. It's funny because yeah. World Star inboxed me like, can we use this? I was like, hell yeah, yeah. we we'll post yeah. that. So. That video. It, it was like so real. <laughs> yeah, yo. This is every strategy. You know, you know what what's and crazy? they know what we doing. I told her. <laughs> I told a joke like uh, like about my wife being mad at me, and I was like, mm -hmm. you know, she is. You know how they play sleep and you mm -hmm. lift themselves up. Mm -hmm. This good lady was like, "Oh, you told a rape joke," and I was like, "The rape? Nah, bro. <laughs> like, hold up. We that's another thing. We in such a touchy time right now, bro. Like, it's stuff that I it's hella. I got hella like like other jokes as far as like gay jokes and, and religious jokes. But I'd be like, I ain't saying none of that yeah. shit because <laughs> people are ready to cancel you and to cancel you and, 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 and you people. Y'all people know my heart, but I still be like, yeah. nah, I don't even want to take. They be trying to cancel Jess every opportunity. Every opportunity they yeah. cancel her. But when but, you destined for something, it, it ain't no, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no, ain't no stopping. Yeah, but yeah. I think people just uh, like to to jump on those bandwagons yeah. when, when yeah, people yeah, yeah. attacking you. That's just like the thing now to be offended. It's it's yeah. the. It's the it's not about, you know, just taking it, taking the truth about a lot of stuff. But, I mean, some people do need to have their ass, you know, outed, these people. Yeah. Has, but some stuff is just like, come on, you know, like, it's, it's not even necessary, so. Just, uh, real quick with the, like, with the whole situation with the airplane, mm -hmm. 
when you, I always tell people like when you don't, people will be mad at you about stuff that you don't know when you when you're not educated about yeah. something. Yeah. And they expect you to know. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So it's like a big responsibility on you. When yeah, you especially you know when you had that many followers and you're famous. They expect you to be a genius. Like I don't know every goddamn thing. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like I still make sure I give just any information that I know or any anything that I you know am educated about. But it's always the moments, man, where you get caught slipping. Yeah. You say something that you you know just feel at the moment, and, and, and it's not even malicious. It wasn't even like her just being, you know. I'm not defending it, but it was like she wasn't. It wasn't like that yeah. serious to be, you know, brought up like that. But yeah, that was a hurt, a hurt piece for her. You know, she she felt real bad about it. You know what I'm saying? We talked a lot about that, man. And I just had to keep her motivated because people, you know, know her heart. Like she ain't that kind of person. So and there's people that is like that. You know what I'm saying? So there's a dude yeah. that looks just. He's a little bit darker than you. Mm-hmm. And he's about six six. Every time he comes in my store, cause I work at a gas station mm-hmm. too. I say, man, you look like this guy. <laughs> So like this. He came in there yesterday and I wanted uh-huh. to tell him, you should go to the comedy club because he's going to be here. I see this nigga man, but yeah. He'd be having his hat turned to the back of the handy ball. It's the style, man. It's, it's, it's the same, same guy, man. I'm like, yeah. I started to ask him, like, man, you doing comedy too? I'm doing sun devil and shit. Yeah. <laughs> That's what's up, man. Where y'all headed to after y'all need uh, something? I'm uh, going to Houston yeah. next, man. Oh, okay. So, yeah, Houston. Oh, there's a ball to do, so. Let's see what I'm going to see how far along we get in the show. Y'all stick around? Yeah. We might have closed out the show now. Cool little interview real quick. Make sure I'm going to say this for the website. If you want to see it again, go to ComedianDesert.com. Going right back to the show. Hey, don't be going over there. I'm just here for the pop, The real stuff, man. I like R&B music, bro. That's what I like. The R&B music together. 